Okay, so once your form is loaded, make sure that you are only working with a screen that you can be able to see everything. <coughs> Let's just go and deal with this form. Um, first of all, I'm going to change the text of this form to nothing. I'm going to change the back color of this form to a very white background. <coughs> I will change the form border style to none. I think that's all I needed to change. Oh, I need to scroll down and change the Okay, the start position to be center screen and then also maybe change minimize and maximize box put it to false so that's all i needed to do on the form <clears throat> now since you can see that my form doesn't have any close minimize or maximize button i need to create this, those buttons myself so I'm going to go pick up a button, drop it on my form, immediately change the name of this button from being called button one to being called exit btn. Okay, so that is just one button that I've placed there. I've changed the name. I'm also going to change the text of this button. I will say exit Okay. okay, so now I'm just going to place my button nicely. <clears throat> so, so far that's all that I have. I need to go to the back end of this button. So I will double click the button, it will take me to the code and all I will do is to say application.exit and leave it like that. So if I test my project right now. So this is my project. You might not be able to see it nicely, but this is it. So the idea is that you will have a space for a game here. When you're tired with the game, as you can see, you cannot move this page here. You can't do anything about it. But if you're done playing the game, you can always press exit and your application will stop running. <coughs> so it's because of this line which says application.exit. Now let's go and start um, our game. So our game, um, I want to design our game using um, a picture box. So let's go and pick up a picture box. Let's select the back color of this picture box. Let's make it red. Okay. So I'm gonna play around with this picture box. I'm gonna start it very small just to show you the idea behind this game. So you have already confirmed that you know a maze game. So that is my first picture box. I'm gonna copy it and just reduce the size join the first picture box with the other one 
but then increase it like this this will be my ending point okay so if this is my entry point a look at my game now how it looks like is it visible from your side yes. okay so the idea is that this game you will play it with a mouse and you'll be moving and then if you touch any of these picture boxes right ne? you you should have lost you know this one ne? you know this kind of game so if you touch any of these picture box, uh, you should have lost. But as you can see, there is no difference between my mouse movement. Right? So let me exit the game and we'll start talking about how do we implement that part. <coughs> so this will be the start, this will be the end. So if you start somewhere here and you're moving, you're moving, you are moving and then I think this is the only route and then you arrive here right you would have won agreed um, but then if you touch any of these picture boxes uh, you should have lost so let me show you how easily can you do that so we can easily say um, this picture box they will be given names like picture box one picture box two as you can see so if I go to this picture box and I go to the event right in fact not even the event let's start with the cursor to say when you are moving or when you touch a picture box how does the cursor look like so the cursor will give you this no um, kind of a, a sign right so to show you what that means So all of these picture boxes, I have not done anything to them, right? But then check this. If I go to this top picture box one, the top one, the mouse changes. Can you see? The icon of the mouse changes. Can you see? It's now an arrow. But then if I do touch here, it becomes what? A sign to say, you know, this is a no-go area. Um, so let's go implement that on all of these picture boxes. So we can easily highlight all of them. We can easily say because this one has been done already i can click this one go down to the cursor it says default i select the no part but because it's a lot of picture box i rather just highlight all of them so there we go all of them have been highlighted 
I'm now looking for the cursor. To say the cursor in all of these picture box, wait. Oh, it might need me to just do one by one. No, no, no. I'm looking for the cursor. <coughs> So whatever you touch on this picture box, the cursor should change to a big no. So, so far I've got this big one, this one, this one, this one, together with this, let's try this. No, let's go to this small one. Still a no. Then this one. Cursor changed to no. Here yeah, I've got two of them. Change the cursor to no. Same applies to this. Change the cursor to no. The last one I think is this one. Change the cursor to no. <coughs> All right. Now let's let's also implement something, right? Um, as I've said, when you touch any of these things, you should get a warning or points should be deducted from you and things like that. So let's start by saying you've got points. I'm gonna put a label here. No, 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 that's a text box. I'm going to put a label. Increase the font of this label. Okay. And then I'll just call it, change the, the, the name here, and call it points label <coughs> okay now the minute you start the game I'm gonna go to the back end right now the minute the game loads that means it's at the form so I will double click anywhere empty in the form I will then say I will then say the points label dot text right will it be equal to so at the top here, I must define some points. So I'm, I'm going to go and say public static integer points it's equals to three. So let's say we give you three points and each time you lose, we reduce those three points. So when the form loads, we'll then say the points dot to string must be displayed there, right? So to show you what what effect that has is that when we when we load our game, it shows us that we have got three, right? Those are the three points. Okay, once more on how that was done, we we'll go to the very top of our back end, just under um, partial class form one of the form, we declare a variable called public static int points being equal to three. Those are our initial points. <clears throat> and when the form load, which is anyway when you double click on the form, we then say the points label, which is this label, the points label, dot text its text will be equal to the points which are three being converted to become a string okay so from there all you need to do is to say whenever you touch any of this thing we're going to reduce the points from being three and when they are zero it's game over okay so let's start with the first one to say if you do touch this one so we're going to click it and this time around we're going to go to the events instead of the normal properties events 
and there are some couple of events here so let's check the mouse so if a mouse can just enter it or hover around that thing so this is the hover hovering means that you are moving around it right but you have touched it so I'm just gonna press enter when I'm here then I will then say that means <clears throat> that means the points will be reduced by one right and then we'll make sure that the the points the label it in fact points label in fact the same thing the same thing we did on the form okay let's run it and see what does this do so remember we have three points initially right so if i don't touch that red thing so if i touch it do you see the points are reducing they are now at two right i move again i touch it you see it's now one if I touch it again, I'm back at what? At zero, right? But if I continue to touch it, you will see that it will continue going what? Backwards, right? So the idea will be, on this game, when we do touch the wall, right, of any picture box, the points must reduce. But if the points are now uh, zero, it's game over. Makes sense, right? So let's go implement that part of saying if the points are zero or <clears throat> we can start by making sure that every side of the wall this is happening right this is every side of the wall of any form we write the same code it does not change so we just go to um, in fact let's start with making sure that if the points are now zero so I'll say if points are equals to zero right then let's do a message box dot show which is telling us that it came over we can even do a, a, a slash a I think this one plays a noise if statement which looks like that then we can return the points yes we begin yes, <laughs> Ah, ten. 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 Today. <coughs> so funny. Hmm? So funny. Problem. I I can't even today. I'm not going to learn. Ah, very soon. Ah. Uh, uh, so funny. Very soon. Get over there, get ready, Apple. I'm ready, Apple. I'm ready. All right, guys. So as you can see, uh. If you touch this wall, points move to two, right? They are being reduced, right? Then it's to one. Then you touch for the last time, it's game over. When you press OK, right? The points are supposed to be now back to, to three. As we will see very now, they are back to two and things like that. So let me just make sure that when you do touch the wall and we've reduced the points, 
we take them back to three, we still display you uh, that you are back to to the other part. Hmm. You know what? What else I should do is to say, wherever I'm printing out the points, I must start by saying. saying points are this so this could be very crucial let me show you the changes yeah you see now it's no longer just numbers right it's telling you you've got three points and then as you play points are now two points are now one your game is over, next play. You get it, ne? But this must happen on every side of the wall, not only this first one. <coughs> Morning. Okay, so now, what we're going to do, we're going to copy all of this code, ne? From the first picture box, because this is the same code we're going to be using all over. So we copy all of this code, we go to our design, we click another picture box, we do the same thing. Mouse hovering. Uh, where is mouse? Where is mouse? Mouse hover. We enter there. Bring us here. We just paste the same code. We do the same thing for all the picture boxes. So I click this one. Mouse hover. This is picture box four. Paste the same code. There's another one here. Mouse over. Press enter. Takes me here. I paste the same code. Let's check this one out. Mouse over. Same code. Back to design. This big one. Mouse over, press enter, paste, go to the other one. Let me do all the outer picture box first. <coughs> paste. Okay, now I'm gonna get to this big one. Mouse over, press enter, paste. Okay, I think I'm left with just few. Mouse over, enter, paste. This one already has a mouse over. Check this one. Already has a mouse over. This one. Okay, just these two left. Paste, one more. This one. Paste. Now, that's the end of the game. <coughs> so you're a player, you're arriving at the game. Every wall now is activated to a point where in, um, if you touch inside of the wall, right with your mouse you're gonna start losing points right like here do you see that is now true so if i just move not like carelessly like i touch this one i'm now at one right then i touch here i'm now at zero and it's game over then I, then i must start afresh Capish? but now we need a way to tell us that this person is actually what has won the game, right? We need a way for 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 that to happen. Okay, so to win the game, you should have arrived here, but it's going to be very tricky because what if someone just move their mouse directly here? 
just so they can win the game so they can easily come move 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 okay I think I have it figured out <coughs> it's only gonna be known by us the developers on what we did so let's take one picture box here okay and this is where that picture box will be but I'm gonna make it so small and change the background color of this picture box and make it white so that it's not visible so if I join this here and I join this here change the background color to white Okay. <clears throat> now this one must have a different event, right? So the event on this one, let's start with the mouse. It can be a no for the mouse. We can select something else. Different mouse here. Say a hand. Then the event I think should be mouse entering. Then we'll give you a message box dot show. <clears throat> you have one. That's all. And then we'll return the points to where they are. display them <coughs> all right according to me that's the end of the game so if we start here we are moving or moving you lose you know you reduce the points you are now at two you are moving you touch another wall you now have one point left there we go you are moving you are moving you are moving when you arrive here right you get a message that you have won and as you say yes f1 uh, your points are supposed to be back at, uh, at three so let me move again arrive here you have one there we go <coughs> okay so that's the end of the game I wanted us to create. So this uh, all has to do with events management and um, that's how we do it. So you guys already know the drill. Done. Any questions? No questions. The what? Mm -hmm. 